हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन शर्मा इंग्लिश क्लासेस माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई हैव टू स्पेंड सो मच टाइम इन मेकिंग अ सिंगल वीडियो सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल माय डियर टुडे वंस अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द क्वालिटीज ऑफ गर्ल्स और वीमेन गर्ल्स एंड वीमेन आर ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन टू बोथ द सेक्सेज वीमेन लुक एट पर्सन ऑफ देयर ओन सेक्स for making comparisons while men look at them out of varied motives well whatever the motives both talk of girls or women girls or women become objects of comment description you know what tagore has said about women god created man as if it were by a machine but when it came to the creation of women he took up paint and brushes my dear friends i am going to describe some qualities of female so please have a look listen to them for the sake of enriching your vocabulary i'm saying because ultimately you have to communicate with people and it it can be done when you have great knowledge for the knowledge sake i'm giving these words please don't take Uh, on your heart why i am giving you these positive or negative qualities of female in every woman there is a queen speak to the queen and queen will answer so you can understand what i want to say modest you can understand modest is a type of the quality when a female i mean girl or a woman is very polite or humble so in that case we can use she is a modest girl not boasting it means she does not have this quality to boast sometime girls or female they have the quality to talk about themselves only their richness their family background they boast a lot regarding their family but some despite of having so much they never declare they never explain they never share they never even discuss so those or oh, i mean these type of ladies or these type of females are called modest chatterbox you can understand by this word chatterbox mean who is in the habit of talking a lot talk to you the girl is very talk to you so she is a chatterbox or she is talk to you or you can speak bubbler when girl is so much a uh, bubbler in terms of speaking so much tomboy you can understand by this boy word which is attached when you find any female but female is giving the look of a boy you know boyish manner you know behaves in a typically boyish manner like by the outfit you can check they are putting the clothes which basically are not put on by female Uh, like boy uh, cloth they are putting or sometime hair cut by the hair cut you can understand what type of uh, hair cut they do or they have so uh, those are called uh, tomboy so she is tomboy prude prude means proper a goody goody in that manner you can speak it is called prude loud mouth this word can be uh, very familiar i think so because uh, some female they are in habit of speaking so much loud so in your family also here or there neighborhood you find some they are loud mouth you know they brag a lot you know bragging this habit they have whenever they give a speech in terms of speaking loud so much loudly and you have to go back because you can't sustain you can't uh, be the part of the discussion the conversation you have to go back so hidden another word which we are having hidden is also negative quality like uh, scolding sometimes you know some female they are in habit of scolding a lot sometimes you find an older one you know in your family you find uh, in a mother figure so uh, you what you find they are hidden they scold a lot they uh, rebuke they they have this habit to rebuke on every type of work whichever is done by you which this word can be not bitch bitch is a different word here we are speaking which which uh, who practice which craft you understand uh, some female they have uh, they have a type of look that is not attractive that is not giving pleasure that is a ugly look unpleasant look those are called which you know virago 
Virago is a word, uh, basically it is used uh, slightly provocative, you know, sometimes aggressive, in the ag rough language sometimes they use, or I can say loud mouth, or virago, loud mouth, rough, aggressive, same thing it is, no problem. You know, another word, uh, termagant, termagant is another, quarrelsome, some female they are in the habit of quarreling a lot, they keep themselves on the center of quarreling, or they are the epic center of quarreling, or maybe they start quarreling, they can't survive in the absence of quarrel. So they have this habit, so that is called browling, you can speak browling, quarreling, or quarrelsome nature they have, that is uh, termagant. Big mouth, these are the qualities of negative, so please don't mind, uh, because these are the qualities I am speaking. When a movie is made, there are two types of characters are there, good and bad. There is a one side you will find hero, next side you will find a villain, so uh, movie is made. So same thing is I am saying, good or bad, both are, you know, voice and virtue, which are part of life. That's why I am uh, discussing with you. I am not saying you should be, or you should uh, watch only bad things, but... Uh, there, uh, wherever we are living, we find these types of qualities. Big mouth, big mouth you can speak or you can say loose-lipped. You know, lot of time you find they speak a lot. Loudly they rebuke, they scold. They do like this type of thing, that is big mouth, loud mouth, we can speak easily. Pretty woman, by this word, I think giving pleasure to you, whoever is listening, pretty. Whenever you see, you know, look, attractive, beautiful which gives a pleasant look and we want to talk a lot because they are so much attractive so that uh, female are called pretty so another word which we are having scare, you know scarecrow scarecrow uh, is a, a kind of strange word for you uh, but I, I, I want to go for one observation when you go nearby your fields where there you have crops so sometimes the crops is about to ripe so you often find some type of, you know, birds, they come nearby that, or animals come nearby uh, that crops. So often this is a human mentality to put over their effigy, a type of effigy they make and they uh, plant over there, they put there. So due to that effigy, effigy, what type of effigy? A tall, thin, awkward, you know, sometime uh, in man shape or female shape, they put in the field uh, to, you know, keep away the birds, or other animals because they will not come near to that and they will not eat that. So those are called in English scarecrow. So my dear friends, these are also called effigy, please. Effigy uh, is a word uh, you often find nearby, you know, uh, not nearby, on Dasera. You know, Dasera effigies are burnt like Ravana, uh, like other, uh, like Meghnath. So that is called effigy. Uh, bomber, this another word is also very uh, different word for you, bomber. By this word, you can understand what type of nature a female has. Like military aircraft, what they do, they work or they are designed to carry and, uh, you know, they carry and drop what? Bomb? So, what, what you can find from a female, every time they see is a bomber. You know, she uh, does blasting every time, whenever you try to talk to her. She has this nature only. That's the negative quality of a female. Angel, I think this this gives you immense pleasure when you listen to this. Angel, divine feelings, virtues, purity, or selflessness. This is a quality of a female angel. That's why we have started keeping the name of a kid's angel in terms of uh, female I'm speaking. Uh, Gorgeous, this is very familiar words, you have heard so many times, gorgeous, gorgeous means they are very beautiful, they, uh, uh, they attract a lot, so, uh, the female is called gorgeous, in terms of beauty I am speaking, you know, Cassandra, uh, this is also a peculiar word for you, a strange word, Cassandra, Cassandra is generally spoken, uh, you know, it's a word which I uh, took it from history, so you can understand, Prophetess, you know, prophetess used to be during past and who used to predict about future. So, you know, who was a daughter of a king earlier, I am talking about this. Cassandra, so this is a great word for this. She is Cassandra, she has this habit, she is very pious, she is very deity, uh, deity figure she has. Figure means, uh, I am talking about, uh, sometime uh, we talk about like a god. God figure, in that manner I am speaking. Uh, foul mouth, so you can understand foul mouth. Foul mouth means offensive language. You, you can't imagine, 
you always find uh, derogatory words are being spoken, offensive words are being spoken by female. To she's uh, foul mouth. You can speak like this. Dashing woman. I think this gives you pleasure when a girl is very fashionable, chic, or I can say audacious in that manner. You think she is a dashing woman. Perfect personality she has. In that case, you can speak about some words I gave here, my dear friends, by that you can enrich your vocabulary. And you need to use, where there, where, wherever you need to use these words. But I am not saying that you need to apply every time, everywhere. And you need to uh, use, uh, you know, positive side. No. Where there we find in the negative side, we should use it. Opposite is so, you should use it. My dear friends, thank you very much. If you like, uh, like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.